wear my rubber boots at every opportunity. I love being out here where everything is wet. I wanted to be a wetland ecologist, which is what I am, since I was about 10 years old. What I liked was where the land met the water. It's just fun to puddle around in it. See, I think the frogs are right over there. But let's try here. My students have a saying that when we go out with me in a wetland, we always come back wet. And let's see what else we can find. And then duckweed is a kind of algae. That's this kind. You actually don't see things unless you sort of walk in the wetlands. You hear the, you hear, hear the duck out there? But you want to know what a really important part of a wetland is? Yeah. Is what the bottom of the wetland. They call it the wetland because it's got water standing on the surface and lots of plants that are adapted to it and lots of animals that are adapted to the water. Wow, what wow. Is <laughs> that is chemicals that are um, rotting all the vegetation. So see all this vegetation rotting? It goes down to the bottom and catches lots of uh, nutrients that would pollute the water. So this wetland, it's well known because it stores water. So it would be preventing flooding. Water comes in here and it has a huge area that it can actually come up and it can come up several meters without flooding anything. So this wetland provides wildlife habitat, uh, lots of ducks as you can see going by, uh, and it provides water storage. And those are the, two, the main values that this one provides. All, see all these little plants here? These plants have lots and lots of microbes on them and those uh, bacteria, and they take up nutrients. So you might have, say, agricultural runoff coming down and high nutrients, and all of these plants then take that up. So that's the third value that this wetland provides. We have no province-wide uh, wetland policy. Uh, we have only a policy to save only one type of wetlands, and that's only in the south. So anywhere in the north, uh, the wetlands have, are, are not protected at all, so people can destroy them at will. In the south, we've already lost 70% of our wetlands. So that means 70% of the habitat for ducks is gone. And the other thing is, almost every single developed country in the world has a, what we call a wetland policy. That is, some way to protect and wisely use wetlands. Alberta doesn't. And that's a disgrace, actually, for a, developed, a wealthy developed country. I mean, you just listen to all the frogs. You listen. I mean, I would be chasing the frogs. I'd be picking up plants. You know, I'd be getting completely wet. Little kids just need to get out here and hear the frogs. And um, I mean, that's what I did and that's what made me love it. I would hope that kids would come out here and play around. If they do that, then they will love wetlands. If you come out here and spend time, you end up loving them. If you sit inside with the television and never experience it, we probably won't protect wetlands or actually any other land, part of the landscape.